No Child Left Behind is uh, an author, uh, authorization of the uh, Education Act that occurred in 2001 or 2002 uh, that runs till the year 2014. And that states need to be accountable for the kids to meet those grade level um, standards and they have to um, provide a test on the uh, test on the performance standards and the process standards so that the kids meet the, the reading and math um, floor of the test. Uh, the initiative puts uh, the impetus for uh, instruction uh, on school districts and for moving students forward at a pace that uh, they are proficient. No child gets behind and teachers help them so they can succeed at a normal rate like other students do. Is it a goal to make sure that all kids are graduating up the par and reading skills and math skills? Frankly, the uh, focus on subgroups was probably a good thing. It, uh, it really brings uh, to the top uh, areas of underperformance in districts and schools, underperforming groups, where before that was kind of masked in an average. Uh, you could be a district that looked really good in performance because of your average scores, yet have deep pockets of underperformance. I think they teach us things pertaining to the test on top of things we'll need in life mm -hmm. because school is about structure. Mm -hmm. It's about how you live your life. It's a discipline. It has teacher accountability. It has school district accountability and individual school accountability. And it focuses on getting your at-risk kids um, in the subgroups up to their reading level. Uh, the person that's supposed to be teaching us is only presenting something to us and giving us the idea and then giving us the paper you know, do the rest, and, uh, you know, it's hard for them to get up, you know, get through 30 kids, and, you know, you're always getting up on the set, you know. We engage students in a way that they will move forward, um, and they will continue progress and be uh, productive members of society and uh, contributing. I think most teachers are teaching you just to pass tests. And this is the test that we're going to use, but we're not going to tell you what's on the test. We don't care if the test is socially or economically biased. Um, we don't care how long you've had these children, you're still going to be held accountable. Because some students are learning they're short on computers and they're short on books and the teacher and the teacher staff is not really the adequate teacher staff. Uh, you know, I just would rather it be a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, maybe smaller rooms, uh, not the kids crammed in there, it's a lot of distractions. I think it is still leaving some kids behind because, you know, they're focusing so much on the kids who are very smart or very behind, but the ones in the middle like me, we're just kind of getting it more. I think it's hurting kids. So there needs to be a lot more support services involved with our at-risk kids, but there's no money to do that. You certainly don't take an impoverished school where the kids aren't performing well academically and say, our fix for this is to take away your funding when maybe it's the resources and the better teacher maybe increasing the salaries to attract more teachers, qualified teachers in that area. I think they would speak to a lot of inner city schools, not just because I'm African American, mm -hmm. not just because I'm minority, mm -hmm. it's not that, because I've seen white schools that have no money either. I just think the money should be equally dispersed. We really need a comprehensive evaluation uh, as to whether it's working or not and whether it's fair, uh, whether it's uh, moving children forward in the fashion that, that they're uh, uh, mandating is appropriate and healthy for all children. Screening every teacher a little better, you know what I mean? It's easy to put on the front when you're in the interview, but when you get in the classroom, you all are different person. We can't just leave this in the hands of educators. In other words, parents need to get their child ready for school. I just make uh, smaller classrooms. Um, I guess I pay teachers a little bit more. The state of Missouri has very high standards uh, for uh, NCLB criteria and in, in the assessments that are given and so forth. And uh, other states may not have the same level. So the first thing that we need to have is 
national expectations for what it means to really be an achieving uh, district or a school. I think I would put more teachers in the schools. I would make them bigger and put more teachers in them. That way they could be smaller class sizes so that everybody could have the one-on-one -on -one attention they need. A fair way of measuring a child's progress, not just by one test. There's a lot of kids that are test anxious. Um, a lot of kids would get up in the morning and have had a bad day, may have been beaten or whatever the night before, and the last thing on their mind is sitting down taking a three-hour test. Education is a key to us remaining uh, a strong democracy, and I don't think this has really come to the surface yet.